think your free antivirus is cutting it? I tried relying on just that and almost regretted it. Look, I'm constantly testing different cybersecurity tools because online threats are only getting more sophisticated. I spent a solid month using Total AV as my main security on all my devices, from my main workstation to my tablets and the phones I use for vlogging around town. And while that, there's definitely stuff I liked, there's there was also a few things that I didn't like. But before I jump in, if at any point you want to check out the software for yourself, there's a link below this Total AV review that will get you $80 off, or you can simply scan the QR code on the screen. Okay, so Total AV. I tested it to see what it's really like using on a daily basis. What it's good at, what it's not so good at, and ultimately if that's the right antivirus software for cybersecurity. And I immediately noticed how straightforward it is to use, even for my less tech savvy friends who asked me for recommendations. Total AV's interface is clean and easy to navigate and setting it up on my laptop and phone was a breeze. As far as performance is concerned, it ran pretty seamlessly in the background, which is a huge plus because the last thing you want is your antivirus software bogging down your system. Also, the core of any good cybersecurity tool is its ability to catch the bad stuff, right? And Total AV's malware protection seemed pretty solid when I tested it out. For example, I downloaded this practice dummy file called EICAR and tried to open it on my computer while Total AV was running. Now, to those of you who don't know, EICAR is a safe file that good antivirus programs are trained to recognize as dangerous even though it doesn't actually do any harm. Immediately, Totally AV jumped in and said, hey, this looks suspicious, and locked it away. Let me tell you, having that real-time protection running definitely gave me a bit more peace of mind, especially when I'm downloading files or clicking on links I'm not 100% sure about. Another thing that I liked about Total AV is that their internet security package includes a VPN. Having that integrated can be handy for basic privacy when you're on public Wi-Fi, like at some of the cafes in my area or while traveling. Plus, it's cross-platform compatible, meaning I can run it on my Windows machine and my Android phone without any extra hassle. They also throw in some system optimization tools, which to be honest, were a bit hit or a miss for me, but they're there if you want to try and clean up some junk files. Now, one thing I noticed pretty quickly after installing Total AV was the occasional nudges to upgrade it to a higher tier. It wasn't overly aggressive, but it kept reminding me that some features are locked behind a paywall. It got really annoying sometimes. Also, while the integrated VPN is convenient, it's not the fastest nor the most advanced one I've used. So if you're a heavy VPN user, you might find it a bit basic. And while I didn't have any major issues with customer service myself, I've seen some reports online about response times being frustratingly slow during peak hours. Something to keep in mind. So is Total AV worth it? For someone who's looking for an easy to use antivirus software with decent malware protection and the convenience of an included VPN, especially at that discounted price, it's definitely one of the best antiviruses you can find in 2025. But if you need a super advanced antivirus or you're easily annoyed by upgrade prompts, you might want to reconsider. Don't forget to click the link below to get $80 off on Total AV right now or scan that QR code on your screen. Stay safe out there, guys.